and uh, I'd never seen these. I've never seen them in any of my stores, and they're really, really cool. Hey everybody, I'm back. It's Mike, 818 Diecast. Thanks as always for tuning in. Let's start out really quick with a line of Hot Wheels I didn't know existed. I guess it's a new line, um, and that is these Ultra Hots. And uh, I'd never seen these. I've never seen them in any of my stores. And they're really, really cool. Uh, really cool. I love the paint jobs. They're kind of new school meets old school with the paint jobs and the liveries like just really super rad hot rods uh you know custom cars really really love these really love these 71 gtx which is gonna always be on my list of cars to love and appreciate great great car great packaging with the kind of old school feel to it it's Kind of 70s, kind of 80s. I like the, the, the retro-ness to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to open these or not. You guys tell me in the comments if I should. If I should be opening these or if I should leave them as is. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. But I was excited to come across them. An extremely cool set. And I'm going to hunt them all. I've got three of the eight. So, you know, I'm almost halfway there. And hopefully... The store I got them at continues to carry them and, and get some more of them in. Thanks. Thanks to Target for, <laughs> for having those. You guys, subscribe, of course. Please, you know, I have to ask. I, I know everybody gets tired of hearing that stuff on YouTube. If you follow me on some of the other social medias, which you should at 818 Diecast everywhere there is to, to follow, you'll see some of my older stuff. I'll be doing YouTube videos. Like I said before, I'm kind of going all in on the YouTube. I really like this platform. I like to watch videos like this and see people's collections. And I know you guys like it too. So let's just keep doing that. What do you say? All right, let's do it. So I was up visiting my family in the San Francisco area last weekend. And my brother-in-law and I, when we first, when he first started dating my sister, we both had Dodge Rampage, which is crazy because it's pretty rare vehicle back in the 80s 90s and so he had this on his shelf and i told him that they made this and he was like oh yeah i have one of those and then when i was up there he just gave me this one because he doesn't collect hot wheels like i do he is he's like a star wars guy so he has all kinds of star wars stuff but really cool i had this car in real life and it was uh you know for an 18 year old kid it was absolutely fantastic but it was <laughs> Do I think it was a great car in the long term? No, probably not. But that said, I may end up doing a custom of this and repaint it like the one that I had because mine was all black and had red stripes and really cool black and red seats. I may do a custom on this. I'm, I'm almost certainly going to open this. But yeah, cool. Thanks, Billy. Thank you for that. Um, some random, random stuff I found found this uh majorette lambo and it's really cool i love it the cn uh these i really like these majorette pieces uh they just the packaging is really cool it's got this weird box that it comes that you i guess you can pull it out of here and put it in that box which is kind of neat it's like almost like a repackage uh, this thing's really cool. It's got the gold wheels. I don't know if that means it's Chase or not. I have the GTR uh, skyline of this, and it has gold wheels. And my daughter's boyfriend tells me that that is a Chase car. So I found another one. I bought it for him. And yeah, cool. Lambo. I like the colors. Cool car. That one will probably come out of the box, I would guess. Okay, what else do we got over here? Okay, this one is definitely... Almost definitely, for sure, I am going to end up doing a custom on this. When I start doing customs, this is a Muscles Machine, Muscle Machines 1941 Willys Coupe, a gasser. It's just absolutely killer styling on this. I love the wheels, love the engine and the red pipes. Real cool car. Uh, I like delivery on it, but I feel like it would be super fun to do a custom of this. What do you guys think? I mean, in the comments, if I should do a custom of this or if I should leave it as is, I think it'd be fun to do a custom. 
These muscle machines are really neat and I'm just starting to get into them. I, I, I buy them as I find them if they're a cool piece and this one definitely, that's a cool piece. Okay, now we're getting into some regular mainline Hot Wheels stuff. Uh, oh, first, let's do this first. I am not a Matchbox guy. As you guys know, I'm not a Matchbox guy by nature. I have a few, but um, I had this car in, last, in, my, in real life. This was the last car I had before I got my Scion, uh, except for mine was a 74, this is a 76. And mine was Root Beer Brown, and this one is red. I love the box packaging on this. The, the card is, the card art's just super killer. Love it. And, you know, I love little mini cars. You, I've said it before, and you're going to hear me say it again. I love the mini cars. This thing is rad. Been looking for it. I know they make it in yellow. And I think Hot Wheels makes one in white. I'm not sure. I've seen a white die cast before of this, uh, of this Civic. I'll buy every one that I see as I see them. So, yeah, there you go. Cool one. Cool one. All right. A couple of, you know, the Baja, Baja Bone Shaker, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's a bone shaker. I kind of feel like as, as a, any Hot Wheels collector, you should just buy bone shakers when you see them in whatever configuration. This one is like the Baja version. Pretty cool. I like it. Had to get it. I like the livery on. It's got a cool little, uh, you know, kind of almost like a gasser livery, but yeah, cool. I love that thing. And I'm not much of a truck guy. I'm not much of an off-road vehicle type of person. Uh, bought this one because it's just a cool car. The Subi WRX XT, STI. It's kind of got like a little Pikes Peak livery on it. I don't know if this is one of the mountain drifters or if it's if it's playing off of that. It is a Hot, hot Wheels hatchbacks. Little hot hatch. Uh, I love I love these things. I'm you know I'm, I am a hot hatch lover in real life i've had a couple i had a, a mazda six wagon sport wagon that i absolutely love and uh, yeah this thing's super cool don't love red cars as you guys know but too cool to not grab that it's lowered cool car love it super killer another one this is like a touring car mustang 2005 love the livery on this i like how it's kind of a little bit scratched and dinged up it's a really cool car this is like something i would totally totally drive in gran turismo it is is killer i don't know I, I feel like the uh the red is some kind of target exclusive or something i need to look into that if you guys know please feel free as always to tell me in the comments what i don't know and uh it looks like for some reason it looks like the front spoiler is not matching up with the card art and I don't know if mine's pushed in or if it's weird might have to pull it out to see but if it's a uh, exclusive I probably won't pull it out but this is a cool card really cool like group four uh ooh, it's got a special feature uh, the, oh flip up spoiler that makes sense so this spoiler flips down oh that's right all right I don't know maybe I'll maybe I'll pull it out of the packaging we'll see We'll see about that. Great. Just a neat casting. Really cool, fun car. All right. Aston Martin Valhalla concept. Pretty basic stuff. Just a regular mainline Hot Wheels. Neat car. I like Aston Martin cars. I think they're super cool cars in real life. They're very fun to drive in the sim rig. And yeah, so I kind of had to grab that one. Hot Wheels screen time. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Oh, made inspired by popular movies and TV shows. I wonder what this was from. Uh, maybe it's a James Bond thing. That would actually make some kind of sense as James Bond is the Aston Martin dude. Yeah, cool casting. I'll look more into that. If you guys know, please feel free to tell me in the comments. And this rad lowrider. It looks like a Caprice. I can't quite tell if it's a licensed casting or not, but it is a land low rider and it has the cool engine that when you roll this, it, the engine moves, which is actually really cool. It's the part of the experimenters line number seven of 10. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from California, you know, low rider culture is very important to us out here. So anytime I see low rider inspired 
Hot Wheels die cast cars, I'm always gonna pick them up, which is part of the reason why I like these, uh, these Ultra Hots, is they have a very low rider California feel to them. And that always grabs my attention. My son is, has a low rider and he is in a low rider club. So, you know, it's part of our lifestyle out here. And uh, yeah, this is really cool. I like the kind of pinstripey um, candy low rider paint job livery on this. Really cool car. Absolutely super cool. All right, guys, it's what I got for you today with my Hot Wheel hunts. Uh, super excited as always to be back into the hobby. Thank you for watching. Please, as always, you know, the subscribe thing, it, you know, I got to say it. I know you hate it, but please subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. And I will be back probably in another couple days or week with another episode. Thanks again. Later. Later.